So this is my video on how to convert a Weber Genesis grill uh, to a pizza oven. So first I start by taking the grill grates off uh, and I want to take this uh, drip shield reflector pan off. Take that one off. So we have three. I need this one in the middle uh, to be covered because then we're going to get our heat deflector plate. And I made this little notch here. Um, I think what it helps with is when you set it on so the metal, the aluminum's not totally touching and it'll still hold uh, have some rigidity with all the heat. So I have it there, I have it cut to where when this top thing goes on, um, there'll still be an air gap there where the heat can come off and then up and over. Um, so then we'll put our grates back on. And usually what I do is I count the number of rungs um, on each side to make sure that the heat deflector plate is centered uh, for the most part. So then we'll put this guy on. All right. So that's how it should look. Um, and now next comes our bricks. And these are fire bricks I got at a pottery supply store. They're for the floors of kilns. And I think they're like three, four bucks a piece. And using the grill grates, I know that the center is here, so I you gotta kind of position them in a way. Um, I like to position them going this way, so when I put the peel, there's less likely the peel is gonna catch on. Even though there's a, it's pretty smooth. There's a little edge there. Um, so we put these guys on, and I'll maybe just so normally for a 16-inch pie, I'll put on. Uh, let's see how many is there. Eight of these, right? And you kind of get them all squared up. And this way, if you could see this heat shield uh, is not, the bricks aren't over the heat shield. So that means when we put this thing on, oh, for, oh sorry. Then what I do is because I don't want any heat to escape, I put on these tabs on the sides where there would be an air gap and this will help kind of hold some of the heat in. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to put this thing on and when the heat's firing it's going to come up and around and that's what you're going to get is a nice top heat with the uh, with the pizza. So what we have here is a, enough of a space where you can cook an 18 inch pie pretty easy. Um, I usually put these uh, and here to also help with the heat retention. So you got the heat coming off, the burners up in, and then here um, I cut a little vent in there. This is just like a sheet pan from a restaurant supply store. Um, I cut that and bend it because I was having trouble with the peel. That's not a big space here to get the pizza off. And so you had to be really horizontal when you were doing it. And it created a, little, uh, a couple of hiccups early on, but then to remedy that I started using a pizza screen because then you could just make the pizza pop it in for a second maybe I'd wait 30 seconds and then take your peel under pull the screen out drop the pizza back on the stone and you usually had a pretty good result I did also flip uh, the pizza halfway through because the sides are so much heat coming up on these sides that the side the edges of your pizza will cook really fast and if you give it a half turn halfway through cooking um, usually took me about uh, 45 minutes to an hour to get this up to heat and once it got up to temp I use a temp gun uh, I would between pizzas I would turn it down all the way low just so this isn't continuing to get really hot and uh, when I would put the pie in I would then crank these to high and then with this specific one I you have to fine-tune it a little so the um, the, the lid will close, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And then this, I made this with some um, aluminum. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Yeah, I just found this scrap kind of aluminum and cut these edges and got some screws at Home Depot and just kind of jerry-rigged sort of a, a makeshift uh, enclosure so the heat doesn't have anywhere to go. And if this were an ideal world, I would have drilled holes in here to let the air come, the heat come over and out, and then I would have had a hole on the top of this 
to have kind of a uh, so the hot air is passing over the pizza cooking it um, but yeah anyways that's the gist of it and you have any questions let me know